Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Let us sing for Aisha together. Aisha, you were six years old, but you were very growing and tall, and you were very, very mature, Aisha. The prophet was 54 years old, and you were just six years old. And he was crazy about you, Aisha. You were very smart in mathematics. You were super genius with playing with your dolls. You were very big and tall, Aisha. Today we will talk about Aisha and the Indonesian Muslims are singing for it. As you see, Aisha, istri, Rasulullah, istri, Rasulullah. Let us see who is Aisha and let us see who is Rasulullah. But before we start, 33 million view of the song. Uh, oof, 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 oof. We start with the singer. According to Islam, my friend, if a woman, she put makeup and she go out in public, according to Muhammad, she is a prostitute. So, you are singing for Aisha, seeking hell, according to Islam. So, how Muslims are Muslims? How much are Muslims? Are, I mean, how much the Muslims are Muslims? If you what you are doing is singing for Aisha, why you are putting all this makeup? First of all, singing is haram, according to your prophet. The one who sing, Allah will make him a monkey. If you don't believe me, here we go. Not only you are singing, you are playing music and you are playing a Christian instrument, piano. Muslim from Indonesia, playing piano, singing to Aisha. Let us read what Muhammad he said. Who said that? Muhammad, that a Christian prince. Oh, it doesn't say that, CP. Hmm. That heard the prophet saying, oh, hold on. <clears throat> the prophet what? Saying, okay, not Christian prince. From among my followers, there will be some people who will consider the following. Following, not each one of them is the reason to go to hell, supposedly. Illegal sexual intercourse, but you can't do muta, but this is not illegal in Islam. You can have four in the bed, this is not illegal in Islam. You can have zawaja friend, this is not illegal. Illegal sexual intercourse in Islam is doing things out of the book, which means you can have all kind of cheating, uh, sleeping around, but you have to do it according to Islam, and that will make you okay. Secondly, wearing silk. If you wear silk, you go to hell. Number three, drinking of alcoholic drink. All Muslims they drink. I never saw a Muslim don't drink and even they do hashish. The use and the in the end, the use of a musical instrument. So in your song, you are playing for me piano. Let us see the one who use a musical instrument. What will happen to him? Look what Muhammad said. And there will be people who will stay near the side of the mountain, blah, 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 okay. Allah will destroy them during the night and they will let the mountain fall on them. And he will transform the rest of them into monkeys and pigs. So do you see how costly and they will remain like this until the judgment day? Okay. Here we got two things to prove that Muhammad is a fraud because here we go, she is singing, and then now she is not a monkey. Anyone she saw any change in her face? Any one of the Indonesian noticed that this woman, after she sang for Aisha, she became a monkey? The answer no. She did not become a monkey. So Muhammad is what? Muhammad is a fraud. For he said it clearly that the one who sing or play musical instrument, Allah will make mountains fall in him and he will transform him into a monkey and at the day of resurrection. So, first of all, you are not a Muslim. Secondly, singing is haram, will take you to hell and will make you a monkey. Number three, Muhammad is a big fat liar. You did sing and nothing happened to you. The same as he said in the Quran that those who broke the Sabbath, Allah, he made them monkeys. Uh, I, I did fish in, uh, many times in Sabbath, nothing happened to me, and the Jews too. And Allah did not make us monkeys. Hmm? Like, I look like Zachary Naik, but doesn't mean I'm a monkey. Hmm? So now, this is the stupid, you know, let us see who is Aisha. Are you singing for Aisha, the child who played with her dolls and she was raped by the Prophet? 
or you are singing for Aisha who the Quran consider her kafir, evil. Hmm? Or you are singing for Aisha, the one she strike against the Prophet and she made party, as we see in the hadith. Which hadith is that? Sahih Muslim, hadith number 1479. And Allah, he sent Quran just to fight Aisha. Hmm. Look at this. It was Aisha, the daughter of Bakr, and Hafsa. Man. The daughters of the Caliphate. They made two party against the Prophet. Had they prevailed upon all the wives of Allah. Huh? Pressing them for more money. I said, O oh Allah Messenger. And by the way, uh, uh, I don't know what to say about this here now. That will make my video, you know, very long. I said, oh Allah Messenger, have you divorced them? Look, look, look how good Aisha is. The Prophet is going to get divorced. They will, he will divorce them. He will, he will get rid of them. <laughs> I said, no. I said, Allah Messenger, I entered the mosque. And I found the Muslim playing with the uh, uh, Bibles. Uh, absurd uh, though and Allah saying messenger have divorced his wives should I get down and inform you that uh, I have uh, uh, you have not divorced him he said yes so if you like I want to uh, the brother I mean the story is very stupid and long however yeah in Arabic the translation is different in Arabic it says وَكَانَتْ عَائِشَ بِنْتُ أَبِي بَكْرُ وَحَفْصَةُ ظَاهِرَانِ عَلَى سَائِرِ النَّاسِ عَلَى سَائِرِ سَائِرِ النَّبِي صلى الله عليه وسلم In the Quran, if we go in the Quran, we will find the following. That Aisha and Hafsa, and sorry, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Aisha and Hafsa, uh, let us see here, those verse came because Muhammad, he was fighting with Aisha and Aisha she was giving him hard time and the wives of Muhammad became two parties and the Quran says that Aisha she was bad to the point she became a kafir in tatuba ila Allahi faqad sagat qulubukuma sagat qulubukuma according to tafsir mean that your heart decline or incline to shaitan became kafir and Allah asking Aisha and Hafsa to repent to Allah so what Aisha and Hafsa they did what exactly Aisha and Hafsa did simply here there's a revolution against the behavior of the filthy Muhammad Muhammad is a filthy man he's a thief he's a criminal he sleep around he cheat and he sleep in their bed when they are away so all those things come together and the wives of Muhammad became two parties a corrupt man, corrupt family does not exist. There's no family. There's there's women like a chicken fighting over the eggs, you know. And the rooster is busy having sex with more women or making more money, or conquering more land so he can rape and you know get more slaves. So Muhammad here he lost control of his whole household. Too many women. They are powerful and they are daughters of important men like uh, uh, you know Abu Bakr and Omar and etc. So what we can do with those people? We have to control them. Uh, uh, Omar, he advised Muhammad. Uh, he told him what to do. He threatened them that he will divorce them. Allah, he took the Quran from Omar and he made it Quran. Which means whatever Omar said, it was Omar who said, if they don't repent and seek repentance from Allah, you should know that Allah and Jibreel, and actually in the hadith it says, even he says, and Abu Bakr and Omar and and Jibreel and the angels all of all of them they are in your side and not only that Omar he said do you want me to go and cut her neck you know some hadith he's saying that he was talking about Aisha some hadith they're saying he want to cut the neck of Hafsa however they went in the story like Shia Sunnah they went in the story who is reporting the story uh, but obviously here, Aisha, according to Islam, she was a very bad woman. And Aisha, the one the Muslims are crying for her, 
crying like she's saying how holy she is well you see Aisha she was a victim yes of, of Muhammad when she was uh, uh, young but Aisha the old woman is a very evil woman and she caused the, caused the death of tens of, of thousands of Muslims if you read it with me here it says uh, uh, let us see even Aisha she said to Omar go and see your shame before you talk to me you have nothing to do, do to do with me you have your own shame let me see what in, the, in English it says that um, here we go uh, so I went this is Omar talking so I went to Aisha and I said to her, daughter of Abu Bakr, I have you, I've, uh, uh, you have uh, gone to extent of giving trouble to Allah Messenger. I mean, you exceed the line. Thereupon she said to, uh, to, to, to look how look how faithy Aisha is. Aisha, she is not a joke. You see, we say she is a, you know, she is just a kid, but she was obviously she is a faithy, faithy kid. She said to him, to him, son of Al Khattab, but this guy is an old man. She spoke to him as a piece of garbage. You have nothing to do with me and I have nothing to do with you you should look at your own garbage your own shame you see here they, here they are giving the word translation but the fact it says to him I betuka look at your shame this is Aisha talking to the caliphate who later became a bit one of the most famous caliphate of Islam so this is Aisha the one you are singing for her causing a trouble for Muhammad Allah making Quran cursing Aisha saying that she became a kafir asking her to repent Aisha became a threat to the Prophet to the point he needed Allah and Jibreel and Abu Bakr and Umar and he needed all the angels to take his side to fight who Hafsa and Aisha and mainly Aisha so you are singing for who and not to forget to mention that Aisha she was behind the death of, of Uthman the one you read your Quran the one who caused his death is Aisha Aisha and her family, they are behind the death. She is behind the death of the children of, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, Ali. Aisha, she is behind the battle of uh, the camel battle, which everybody knows about it, and caused the death of tens of thousands of people. And she went in war against Ali and killed thousands of Muslims, and she lost the war. This is Aisha, the one they are singing for. So what Muslims are talking about when they sing for Aisha? Are you singing for Aisha who was playing with dolls? As you see. And by the way, when you read Muslim translation to any hadith, you will see how they lie. As an example here, it says, Muhammad entered upon Aisha and she was playing with some dolls. Some what? Some dolls. He asked, what is this? She replied, my dolls. The fact she did not say my dolls. She said, my daughters. In Arabic, it says, banati. Anyone who speaks Arabic, he knew. Translation is false. They are ashamed to say that she is a wife of a prophet. And she have dolls. At that time, she is 14 years old. At that time, she was 14 years old. Yet at the age of 14, she is playing with dolls and she called them my daughters. So Muhammad said to her, what is this? She said, my daughters, not my dolls. My daughters. Among them, he saw a horse with wings made of rags. Imagine Aisha, the one they are singing for her. She is married. I mean, this is the biggest a crime in history if anyone have a di dignity to mention it it doesn't matter what time it happened if a man he is in such an age and then he sleep with a child she is six years old and then you are singing for her supposedly and by the way they are not singing for Aisha because she is supposedly a great person she is just the wife of Muhammad those Sunnah they worship Aisha they go for war for the sake of Aisha there's a hadith that the Sunni, the, the Muslim Sunni, they were fighting of, over the shit of the camel of Aisha. Actually, there's a video on YouTube about it. There's a movie about it. When Aisha, she go in her camel, 
and she stopped. She stopped because the camel would do poo poo. The camel do poo poo, and then when the camel move, the Muslim Sunni they fight over the poo poo of the camel and they sniff it, and some of them they eat it and they say, mmm, mmm, so smells so good. This is how pagan this cult is. What an Indonesian woman she have to do with Aisha. Aisha who the Quran make a verse about her because she was acute that she was sleeping around. Or Aisha who used to decorate uh, young young uh, women so she can hunt men from Quraysh as the hadith of the Sunni says. Not Shia. You see Shia they hate Aisha and they say Aisha even killed Muhammad. But Sunni themselves they agree that Aisha she used decorated female slaves so she can hunt men from Quraysh which she will hunt them to do what with them exactly hmm? what she will hunt them to do what with them so when we see those people they are singing to Aisha obviously I feel sorry for them they don't know even what they are talking about do even they knew what they are talking about no they don't this is hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith number 6130, it says, At that time, Aisha, the reason Aisha, she was not forbidden for her to play from, with dolls because she was a little girl, not yet reached the age of a puberty. Do you see it? And this is when? During the time. Almost they are like, you know, they are going to... Uh, 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 Aisha at that time she is almost 14 years old like 14 between 13 and 14 so after seven years of marrying Muhammad still Aisha she don't have her period and not only she don't have her period obviously she have the mindset of a child she is still playing with dolls and who is the one is witnessing for this Aisha herself look the one who is saying this is Aisha How you sing for a criminal and for a crime? Because Aisha, she was a victim of a crime and she is a criminal herself. And then, you know, when you look at this video, you will see how much makeup they have. But how much those Muslims, they knew about the religion? Isn't it the Quran forbid even the wives of Muhammad to put makeup? How much they knew about the religion? Not only you cannot have makeup, you have to stay at home. And if this is an order for Aisha, you are not better than Aisha to follow. Are you? But in the video we see we saw a woman, she have like 10 kilograms of makeup to the point you can see the you cannot see the skin. I mean look at the shiny face. Look at the lip lips stick. Hmm? So those who they are they call themselves Muslims today, they are not Muslims. All of them they have no idea what Islam is about. I feel sorry for those Indonesian. They don't know what Islam. They make songs and they sing and even they dance for Allah and the Prophet. And it's a business. The whole point is a business. Listening to music will make you go to hell. And we showed you the hadith. Allah will make you a monkey. And we show you the hadith. Let us show some hadith additional to what we said. Some they lie and they say Aisha she was 18 years old and even 19. Some they say even 21 when she when she married Muhammad supposedly. But for sure they are a bunch of fraud who say that. This is Sahih Muslim saying and we can show it from Sahih Bukhari. It doesn't matter where, you know. It says clearly that Aisha, when Muhammad died, she was 18 years old. 
So if Aisha, she was not in her puberty at the age of 14, Aisha, maybe she got her puberty when she is 16, maybe 15. So only three, the last three years of her life was, we can consider maybe she can get married. The rest, she was a child raped by a man, his name is Muhammad. And this is why Aisha, she was sleeping around during the time of Muhammad because he's an old man and obviously he cannot satisfy such a girl. She's a teenage girl now. This is why they accuse her that she was sleeping with the guy, his name is Safwan. And then Muhammad, he have to make verse in the Quran saying that Allah, he said, he cleared Aisha from the accusation that she's sleeping around. Imagine in such a society accusing their prophet wife to be a whore. But the hadith confirmed that Aisha, she was sleeping around. As we mentioned, the hadith about Aisha, she used to decorate women so she can hunt men from Quraysh. Uh, let me see... Uh, if we can find the hadith and we can use Google translation if we have to. All right. This is <clears throat> the book of Al Musannaf, Sunni. This is not Shia, so they cannot say we are making things up. And this is al maktaba islamweb.com as you see nothing of my own pocket this is not a christian website this is very sunni aggressive sunni al-qaeda isis i will use google translation so they will not say i am translating as i wish in the front of your eyes translate to english Maybe I should translate to Indonesian, maybe, I don't know. I will try to do both, hold on. Let me copy the link so we can open the link again, because when you translate to English, that's it, you can't go back. We just, let's do first English, translate to English. All right, let's see what it says. Hmm. Okay. That uh, Aisha, that is uh, uh, okay. Here we go. That Aisha, she decorated a female and she walked her around, and she said, "May we hunt young, the young of Quraysh?" Do you see it? This is this is Sunni. This is Sunni reference. This is not Shia. Here they continue that they passed by a female slave. She had decorated and she and she said, maybe we can hunt some young of Quraysh. This is the daughter of Abu Bakr. Aisha, she is hunting young men from Quraysh. By what? She put makeup on a slave. She have tons of slaves. She ordered them to walk in the street. And by the way, slave girls are not allowed to cover themselves as because this is how the Muslim they discriminate the slaves from free. If you are a slave, you cannot dress like a woman. She is a free. So a slave woman, she have to uncover herself even in, uh, when they are serving food, even their breast is open. There's a hadith about Omar. He did beat a female slave because she covered herself. And he said to her, are you trying to dress like a free Muslim woman? He did beat her for covering her head. So Aisha is, is a practicing slavery, a form of a slavery, prostitution, forcing her slave to go in the street so she can hunt some young men from Quraysh. Okay, she will hunt young men from Quraysh to do what with them exactly? 
Are you understand can't tell me? I will try to translate the same thing to Indonesian, but we will see if that will work. Translate to English first. We have to choose translation. Um, how to translate? Um, maybe if we click here, give me a second. Okay, choose target language. Choose another language. Let us choose Indonesian. Uh, Indonesian will be Basa, right? What you call it? Let us see. You see, the whole purpose is to help those Indonesian to understand how stupid this cult is. Now, I don't know what what Google will do now. I mean, it's just Google translation, so I'm not sure what it's going to say here. But it should appear in this area. That Aisha, she decorated slave girls. It should be from here, this area. That she decorated a slave girl which decorated means she put makeup, she make her uh, wear clothing, exposing her skin, and she made her go in the street. So men, they will follow her and come to the house of Aisha or a, one of the house she uses for her prostitution because she is saying a hunt, which means those people will not know where they are going. They just will follow the girl in order to sleep with her. And I challenge any Muslim to tell me what kind of a behavior Aisha is doing. What it does mean, I'm going to decorate a slave so we can hunt young men from Quraysh. And you will notice the Quran mentioned that Muslims, they were doing prostitution, a huge big deal. And obviously Aisha is no better. She is a pimp. And after she became a wife of Muhammad and later she is a grown woman now, or let us say she is, she is uh, in charge of herself, we don't know if this has happened after Muhammad's death or before, but most likely, I think, it's after Muhammad's death. Now, Muhammad, he forbid them from marrying. They cannot marry anyone. And this is 18 years old, as we showed you. When Muhammad he died, she is 18 years old. So this 18 years old, sitting home, and there's a lot of young men around. So what we do, we hunt them. And why Muhammad, he forbid his wife from marrying after? Because he's a filthy man. He owned them as if they are goats. Muhammad, he had no problem to sleep with women who had previously married, but nobody can marry his wives after him. For he's a filthy man. And the Quran speaks about the problem of prostitution in the Islamic society, where all Muslims, they start having, forcing the slaves, they kidnap them into prostitution. The children of the Jews, the children of the Christians, those slave girls who they capture them, they force them into slavery. And then when the female Muslim, they start complaining that our husband, they are not even our husband no more because now they are busy with the slave girls sleeping with them. And they are making a lot of money from forcing them to do prostitution. Muhammad, he came with the verses in the Quran saying, force not your girls to do prostitution if they choose a chastity in order to make gain. But if you do that, there's no punishment. So he's saying, don't do that. And if you force them, Allah is all, more, all merciful. Merciful to who? Supposedly to the slave. But Muslim, there is no punishment for a Muslim for doing prostitution to his slave. It is legal in Islam. It's not a sin with, with, a, with a punishment. Like there is a sin where you, you, you will be punished. No. And you will see here saying, if they choose a chastity, which means if that's a female slave, she she agreed to be a prostitute, okay, go for it. So opening a pimp house in Islam is absolutely legal. And the verse in the front, if you're proving that. So this is the quality of the religion we are talking about. And now those poor Muslims in Indonesia, they are singing for Aisha. Aisha who caused the, 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 the fight of Al the camel fight, where thousands and thousands of Muslims get killed. Aisha who tried 
her best to kill Ali. And she lost the war with him. This is Aisha we are talking about. Aisha who was behind the killing of Uthman ibn Affan and the Muslim Sunni, they, they, uh, they, not only they killed the guy, uh, uh, they did whip him, they, you know, they torture him, they took the hair of his beard one by one. So when those Muslims, they sing for Aisha, they, do they know even what they are talking about? As you see, you cannot sing. It's forbidden in Islam to sing. You cannot play music. They are playing music. You cannot put makeup in your face. She have makeup on her face. I mean, what is left? What is left of those who call themselves Muslim Sunni in Indonesia? Nothing. Of, they have nothing to do with Islam. And the funny, if a Christian preacher he speak in, in Indonesia, the Muslim, they will go by millions against him. But the woman, showing, she break all the rules of Islam, going, showing her face, uh, putting makeup, using piano, singing. It's against Islam, but nobody complains. Not a single ustad complains, say this is haram. Not a single one. Did any or one of those ustads say this is haram? No. She's singing to Aisha. Who they are? They worship. Muhammad and his family, they are pagan. Someone saying we do not know if CP is right or wrong. My friend, you cannot say you do not know if I'm, I'm showing everything I say. Did I show it in the screen? So what do you mean you do not know I am, I am right or I'm, this is not about me, I'm right or wrong. I'm showing you what it says. Does it say in front of you, you cannot put makeup? Does it say in front of you, you have to stay at home? Did Muhammad say music is haram? If you do that, Allah will make you a monkey. Did I show you that on the screen? So what do you mean we do not know if a Christian prince is right or wrong? If this is what Muhammad is saying, well, this is what Muhammad is saying. This is Islam. I'm not making my own Islam. This is I'm showing you on the screen what he said. An Indonesian Muslim, you want to talk to me? All right, I will open just a Skype for him as long as an Indonesian Muslim. Even though I'm not really in the mood to talk in, uh, <clears throat> in Skype, but let us see if we can help a human being. <clears throat> I'm logging in, my friend, so you can call me. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right, text me. If you are the Indonesian from Indonesia, please text me and I will be happy to take your call. All right. Just inform me in text, please, that you are the person from Indonesia who want to talk to me. I don't know what the song there is saying in Indonesia. Oh, but I know somebody sent me saying this is a song about Aisha. I have no idea what they are saying there. I'm sure it's a stupid song. I mean, what do we say? It, Muhammad described women as half a brain. You are singing for a half a brain? Hmm. Aisha. All right, this is our friend here. Uh, Oh, this this uh, this Muslim he says he guaranteed that seventy percent he will win. Uh, okay, seventy percent he will win. No, one hundred percent he will win. What are you talking about? He says he can debate me. He can answer my question, and he seventy percent he will win. All right, I like that. Answer, my friend. Says seventy percent he will win. I'm not sure why 70% only, not one, not 100%. I'm scared of the 70, to be honest with you. 
my friend answer the answer the Skype. Okay. Hello. Hello. He hang up. Seventy percent. He will win. He hang up. Seventy percent. Let us call him again. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on here. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? You said 70% you will win. I want to see how 70% will work. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, your... What? Your voice. Yeah. Uh, What's wrong with my voice? The senior, the senior. Yeah, you understand? Huh? What? Can we do text together? Text? You want you want to debate me in text? Yes. Not in voice? Why not in voice? Because uh -huh. the signal you understand? Because what? The voice is not clear. Uh, I, well, I don't I don't do this text thing. I, you know, I I always I I text. I like only to text girls. I don't like to text boys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, it's okay. So, what do you want to do? What do, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. What you I can want to say that uh -huh. the answer is uh -huh. the hadith is not is not what the hadith is not good. Not have what? What? Okay. I'm showing you. I'm showing you sahih hadith. I did not show any 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 one any hadith is not. Uh, it says sahih. All the hadith I show on the screen, they are sahih. So what do you mean the hadith is not sahih? It is sahih. Huh, here we go. This hadith it says sahih. Do you see the word sahih in the screen? It says sahih. I can sing it for you. Sunan Abi Dawood, hadith number 4932. Sahih. Which hadith I showed you is not sahih? All of them, they are sahih. This one, this is sahih. This is sahih Muslim. Very sahih. Yeah, sahih understand. yeah so they are sahih. You know, and they are, they are exposing Muhammad to be a bad person. So this is sahih. So, so why are you why are you are saying to me it's not sahih? Because uh, the hadith writer is lived three hundred years after Muhammad dies, right? Well, the well, okay, hold on. So, if it is three hundred years after Muhammad death, well, the Quran you have, do you have the Quran when Muhammad died? Do you have the Quran written in the time of Muhammad? The Quran written time by Muhammad. Yeah, you don't have the yeah. Quran. You don't have the Quran. Do you have the Quran of Muhammad? You don't. Do you have the Quran of Uthman? You don't. You have recitation of somebody exists 100 or 200 years after Muhammad, after Uthman, and his name is Hafs, and the Muslim accuse him to be a fraud and a liar. So the Quran itself is the same problem as the Hadith. So why you accept the Hadith, accept the Quran? Because the Quran is uh, have written in the age of in no. the age of Muhammad Lee, no, you don't, no, you don't have, you don't have. You can go on right now and you can search. You will not, you will not find, you will not find a single, you will not find a single page written in the time of Muhammad. The Muslim just a few years ago they found a piece of leather and it's dated to the time of Muhammad, but the Quran is not the same and it's not the ink dated to Muhammad. It is leather, leather dated to Muhammad. The Muslim they made a big, big festival about it. You don't have a single page from Muhammad time. You don't have a single page of the book of Uthman. You don't have a single page of the book of Hafsa or book of Aisha or, or, or book of Ibn Mas'ud. You don't have a single page of anything. You have recitation. And this is why you Muslim, if you open the book, it says this Quran is according to, according to, according to, according to Hafs, according to etc. According, 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 according to the Prophet. Recitation, not writing. According to riwayat, riwayat, you know what riwayat mean? The report, the report, the recitation. So all what you have is recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation. Can you speak? Can you speak? Can you speak? My English is bad, okay? My voice? Hmm. No. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me let me ask you. If there is something. Yeah, as long as you call me, and I like I like to speak to Indonesian Muslims. I I find them very nice people. You know, I like Indonesian people. So as long as you are speaking to me, can you show me one thing in the Quran make you believe that this is coming from God? As an example, when the Quran says that Allah He sent hail from mountains in heaven, 
Do you believe hail come from no. mountains in heaven or this is a stupid thing? Where, where does this say? In the Quran or the Hadith? Well, this is the Aif Quran. Had Hadith? No, this is the Aif Quran. No, I want to see the, something, uh, the, what is this? The fraud on the Al Quran, not the Hadith, because the Hadith is written by human, not by God. Okay, well, you see the Quran, this is the Quran, and the Quran says that Allah He sent hail from mountains in heaven, He break it and He send it down, and He throw it at us. And this is Quran. This is not Hadith. Are you going to say this uh, Quran is weak? And the Muslim uh, in what? order. What's the surah? Huh? This is chapter 24, verse number, chapter 24, verse number 43. And you can read the interpretation, and you will see. The Muslim here, they try to cover the, the stupidity of the Quran. So they say, and he sent down from the cloud that are like, they put between the between two bracket like, but there's no like in the Quran. There's no like. There are mountain, where is hail? <laughs> you know, what, what kind of God he teach that he have mountains of hail in the sky and he break hail from there and he throw it at us? Oh, wait, uh, what surah? I forgot. Chapter 24, verse number 43. But, by the way, according, you know, according, there's a prophet, I, I always listen to him. Uh, it's, it's, you know, his name, okay. his name, his, you know, his, uh, his name is Netflix. I, I listened to Netflix prophet and uh, he said, hail is coming from the freezer. I don't know which one is coming through. I don't know. But according to prophet Netflix, hail is coming from the freezer. According to your prophet, hail is coming from mountains in heaven, and Allah break it and He throw it at us. What's the wrong with the, this ayah? I don't understand. Well, the ayah, my friend, saying that there is hail in heaven. Uh, and hail? Coming from mountains. Allah, he have mountains. You know what mountains mean? Uh, yes, I know. Mountains is like a big, you know, like you have a, a volcano, you know, volcano, big, 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 big hill, like rocks. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. so, it's a good one. Uh -huh. yeah. So Allah saying that Allah, he sent hail. And those hail are taken hail. from those mountain hail. You know the hail, the ice, ice. You know ice. Oh, ice. Okay, okay. Yeah. So like you know, sometimes, yeah. sometimes, the, sometimes the sky rain ice, right? The sky, like you know, like balls, big balls of ice. So this is hail. They call it hail in English. So Allah, He throw hail, and where He got the hail from? From mountains in heaven. What do you think about that? Mountains in heaven. Uh, I don't find the heaven. Any, it's any, a, it says any, here, huh? any words no, no, it's even it, they, are, they are lying to you, my friend. Translation, then it says here, I don't know what it says for you in the Indonesian language, but in the front of me, it says, uh, Sama means sky, that's it. So it says there from sky, from mountains in it. Min baradin fayusibu bihi man yasha. So he sent down from the from the sky, from mountains in it, hail, which means ice. So he hit okay. with it whoever he want. Wait, can I see on the Quraysh dialect? I will see in the in the you know Doctor Shabir. Doctor Shabir, the Doctor Shabir, Shabir he is, yeah. is a potato. Is this guy is an idiot? Idiot. He don't know anything. He don't know. You have to read Arabic too. Mother to Shabir. He's, he's not a doctor, he is not Shabir. He's a potato. What Shabir will say to you? In Arabic it says, in Arabic in the front of me, it says, And he sent down from the sky no. from no. mountains and it what Shabir can do? He can change the Quran for you. No, the the <laughs> sorry, I speak my language. Uh, uh the the language of Muhammad is the Quraysh dialect. Right? My, my friend, I'm reading Quraysh the, in front of you. This is Quraysh. I'm reading Quraysh. He's, it's, this is my this is my language. I'm an Arab. I am not I am not from uh, uh, Kuala Lumpur. You know, I am an Arab. 
I just read it for you. وَيُنْزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَارٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ And even the interpretation is saying the same, that Allah, He sent from the sky, where there is mountain, He sent ice down and He throw it at us. Can I uh, read it again? Yeah, read it again. Go ahead. Read. No problem. Have you seen how God drives the cloud, then gathering them, hmm. then makes them <laughs> layers, and then you see the rain coming forth from them? Mm -hmm. He sat down from the hay, held the, the load of snow to cover the ground and leave some under cover. According hmm. to his load, the flashes of lightning and the brightness. Hmm. What are, this now, what, so, okay, so where, what, what are you reading from? What translation are you are reading? Uh, the Quraysh, like you say. Quraysh? You are reading English now. Yes. Do, do you know Arabic? Of course. Do you know Arabic? Okay, read it for me in Arabic. Go ahead, of course. Okay, that's good. Go ahead, read it for me in Arabic. In, in the Arab? Yeah. Alam taro an Allah the that verse alright? Yeah, yeah, read it. But you do not know Arabic, right? But you can read Arabic. Okay, that's wonderful. You do not know Arabic, but he can read Arabic. Go ahead, read it for us. Alam taro an Allah yurji sahaba. Not yurji, yurji. Okay, continue. No problem. Sahaba. Summa yuarifu bainahu. Summa yaj'aluhu rukama fatara wad ko yahruju min kila dihi. Sorry, I'm very nervous right now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, no problem. Take your time, my friend. I'm here, I'm here to help you. I'm not against you. Don't worry. Okay. Now I want you to focus with me here from this part. Wa yunaziru, let me read it for you. Easy, easier. Wa yunaziru min as-samai min jibarin fiha. Min baradin fa yusibu bihi man yasha. Okay, let us focus again. Wa yunziru min as samai. He sent down from where? From the sky. Min jibarin from mountains, right? Min jibarin from from mountains. Fiha in it. So mountains where in the sky. Min baradin fa yusibu bihi man yasha. So Allah saying He sent down from the sky, from mountains in it. Hail. And he hit with it, whoever he liked. What kind of God he said such a stupid thing? Um, the translation, I think. The translation. The, you know. Oh, wait. My friend, you know, as, long, as long you, you were, the, my friend, as long you were able, the, you were able to read it in Arabic. As long you were able to read it in Arabic one by one. I mean, just use it no. word by word. It says in the front of you, وَيُنِزِرُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ He sent down from the sky. مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا From mountains in it. مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ from, from, from here, he hit with it wherever you wish. So, the verse saying clearly that there is mountains located in the sky and there is hail there in those mountains and Allah, he sent the hail from those mountains and he hit with it whoever wish. This is a very stupid verse there is no way this is god he do not know how hail is made uh, it doesn't uh, wait let me let I me just, let me switch let, let, let me switch to translation to uh, indonesian and see if we can if we can get something uh, to help you in uh, translation uh, okay uh, let us see indonesian I don't know what Indonesian would be saying, but we will uh, try. I mean, what we can do. Uh, Indonesian. Uh, Indonesian Tafsir Jalalain. That's wonderful. Let us see a Jalalain. Okay. Uh, do you do you see the screen, my friend? No. 
I not open your YouTube. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Let me read for you. It says here. Uh, I don't know. Like this is. Uh, let me go down where it says. Uh, maybe from here. I'm not sure. I mean, look, look how small in Arabic it is, and look how big in in, in Indonesian it is. All right. Uh, Haruf, Haruf, Min Young, Kiyodo, Ini, Baravangzi, Min Jadi, Sahil, Saliha, Saliha, Atau, Kata, Penga, Yu Bang, Yanki, Dari Gang, Gong Yang, Manjalang, Badayana, etc. Okay, I think this is enough. So, I mean, this is a Jalalain. You can open a Jalalain in Indonesian. It should say that Allah, he sent down from mountains in heaven. Where there is hail, he sent it down on us. <laughs> not the right words? Oh, okay. Well, my Indonesian is not that good, you know, because... Uh, I, I forgot uh, my Ch my Chinese is weak, uh, but my friend, I mean it's okay. You know what? Forget about this verse. Forget about this verse. If there is something in the Quran make you believe that the Quran is coming from Allah, supposedly is God, right? So if there is something in the Quran make you really believe in this book, like what? If you have anything, uh, that's this. the verse on the Quran there. But there is something in the Quran make you think this is from God? Yes, I have. Like what? Tell me. Go ahead. Uh, the verse that... Oh, wait, let, let me find it. Hmm. Sorry. Don't worry, my friend. I'm, I'm here to help you. Just take your time. No problem. <clears throat> uh, about this. Uh, in the chapter 40, verse mm -hmm. 67. Okay. What about it? It's about the Uh, about uh, sorry man uh, my English is very bad again no don't worry about it no problem okay, it's okay so chapter 40 verse number 57 what it what 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 is this uh, here what is your 67 67 okay 67 uh, sorry. okay hmm. this is really from God do you think this is from God or this is crazy yeah, I think it's from God because why? You know why? Are you are you made? Uh, you okay, been... okay. Uh, what do you do? You go to school? Uh, yes. Do you go to school? Like, do you go to university? What is your education, my friend? Uh, this not make me believe in this chapter. Uh, hmm. In here in... it says. In here it says that Allah He will made the nutfa into. A dead, uh, into a dead blood but all of us we knew that this is crazy there is no any process during the, the Quran says that the nutfa will transform into dead blood and then the dead blood will became a piece of meat and then the piece of meat became bones and then the bones became baby how this can be from God this could be what do you mean the, the, the science when you go to school when you go to the school in the school they teach you that uh, sperm will became a blood dead blood and then the dead blood became meat that's what they taught you yes but in the Muhammad age uh, no one can tell about this thing what do you mean nobody my friend this is stupid because the sperm will not became anything uh, yeah. the sperm will not became anything you know here they are saying, say to you, Nutfa, 
is a mixed semen drop of male and female. This is how we stupid the Quran. Even the one who tried to cover up, he says mixed semen of male and female, but women don't have semen. And the Arabic is so clear, it says nutfa. So Allah, he says that Allah, he created you from nutfa, and a nutfa is a semen, and that semen would be came a dead blood, but that is not true. And here the translation, they tried to cover up, but they make it even more ugly. According to science, it's not true. Semen will not be transformed into dead blood, and there is no process of the baby creation. You can go right now, search in Google, in your language, search how the baby is made. You will not find anyone agree with such a madness. What do you mean, dead blood? It says dead blood. It says dead blood. It says alaqa. Alaqa is dead blood. Here we go. Even your even your Muslim translation it says piece of conge uh, congealed blood. We can change the translation for you if you don't like this translation. We go to Yusuf Ali. Let us see. More famous uh, uh, idiot. You will see it says the same. So the nutfa, the sperm a drop of a sperm, that will become a dead blood. And here, look, they say to you in the form uh, uh, from a leech like clot. It doesn't say that. It says alaqa, not leech like a clot. It's a clot. Every translator, look, they, even the every translator, he brings you different translation. Actually, they change the translation. This, this is there's no way this is Yosef Ali. Yosef Ali, I have many videos of his translation, never said that. This is they change it. Look, they, they, they change the translation. Look, guys, do you see it? They change it because I used my videos to, to read the translation. Look, this is the first time I see it here. Yosef Ali translation. I never saw it before saying from the, the uh, uh, then from a leech of a clot, but Yosef Ali is dead. How they trans how they change the translation after he die? <laughs> All right. Amazing. Sorry, my friend. No problem. Uh, yes, I know it. Uh, the Indonesian ulama have changed some word in Al-Quran. Okay, so... And I know hmm. some of them. Yeah, but... Because uh, yeah. they want to make it same with the Hadith. They want what? For, for some... They change it for a purpose. You know? They changed some words for uh, what purpose? Wait. Uh, by the way, I'm not a Sunni. I'm a Quranist. You understand? You are Quran only? Yes, I'm Quran only. Hmm. But isn't it the Quran says to you, you have to obey Allah and the Prophet? So how you can obey the Prophet? The Quran is the word of Allah. But the Quran says you have to obey Allah and the Prophet. So how you can obey the Prophet if you don't listen to his words? The God hmm. give the Muhammad a Quran, okay. and the Quran and Muhammad teach everyone with the teach everyone the Quran. So uh, we must obey the Muhammad. Mean we must obey Allah. Here, sir. No, because if if uh, 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 do you believe that Allah and Muhammad is one person or two person? Uh, a different person okay course. so if the Quran is the word of Allah there is no need to say then obey the Prophet because you obey Allah you obey the Prophet anyway if the Quran is the only message Allah he sent them you just obey the Quran and by obeying the, the, the Quran I mean who care about obeying the messenger anyway he's a man so you need to obey Allah right of course in the Quran, in the Quran say same because Muhammad is just a messenger so hmm? So okay, but yeah, but yeah, but but uh, in order to obey the messenger, okay, let me ask you: as long you are a person who pray uh, according to the Quran, right? Okay, the Quran says you can do you can do muta. In chapter four, verse twenty-four. Muta. Yeah. Do you do muta? What is muta? Muta Wait, is muta is uh, you 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 see a woman and you say to her, I will pay you five dollars if you sleep with me. If she agree. You can sleep with her for the time you agree with her to sleep with her. And this is in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24. So do you practice that? You are a Quran, you are a Quran only. I understand, no problem. You don't like the hadith because it shows that Muhammad is a fraud. 
So now the Quran says you can rent a woman and you can sleep with her and you pay her for opening her uh, her legs and taking off her panty. So now, do you practice the Quran or you don't practice the Quran? Uh, let me see. Four chapter uh, chapter four. Yeah. Verse twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. Hmm. Wait, let me uh, heard this. Huh? They say not for Zina, but uh, it says you it's have, hard to, you, you have translate to translate to the English. Don't translate, no problem. But does it say there? that you have to pay them their wages for you enjoy their private part <coughs> who are the uh, documents for hmm. for uh for married you understand not for not this this gina just not this gina but for married you understand for what for married so how, how, uh, okay for marriage okay guys this is for married but those women, you are marrying them for, for 10 minutes, for 5 hours, for 1 hour. How you call this marriage? Yeah, what do you mean? 10 hours? Uh, wait, 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 there is a timing on it? Yeah, there's a timing. I, yeah, I for sure so. there's a timing. It says here that it's forbidden for you to have sex with married women unless they are slaves. So you can rape women who they are married in Islam. That's number one, if they are slaves. Number two, you have to pay from your wealth to those women who you enjoy yet enjoy what enjoy their private part who are the women who you pay them those are the one you do muta that's why it says famous tamtatum this is the word muta the word muta is coming from here stamtatum you you said you can read in arabic right it says famous tamtatum bihi so what you enjoy of it which their vagina huh from them you have to pay them wages do don't you pay wages for a prostitute do you pay wages to your wife after you sleep with her do you pay do you do you pay your wife money after you sleep with her oh no that's in english okay I'm, I'm asking you do you pay after you sleep with your wife after you sleep with your wife do you do you give do you give her five dollars each time you sleep with her what do you mean i must pay Every time? Well, here it says, here it says in front of you, And whatever you enjoy of that, which means the vagina from them, pay them wages. What is the wages you pay to women you are sleeping with? What is that wages? Who is the this, one will make wages? Wages in Arabic, wages, jur is wages. So if as long as you are paying them wages, it means they are employees, they are not wives. So the, who are those women who you sleep with them and you pay them money? But they mean employees. Oh wait. Uh, in the what the XTPs, I need to see it. Hmm. Because in Indonesia translation. Okay, again, my, my, my friend, my friend, not, my friend, my friend. Let me ask you. Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me you are a Muslim and you never heard of muta before? You never heard of the word muta? No. No. I don't understand the. The Quran, the, 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 the Quran, this ayah. Well, this is the Quran. It says, the Quran the, 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 my, friend, my friend, this is Quran, this is Arabic. But you are saying, you never heard of Muslim practicing muta? You never heard of this before? I never. Okay, I want you to go and search, and I want you to learn more about the muta, and then you call me and tell me about it. But the, your prophet in the hadith says it clearly, but you said you don't like the hadith because the hadith will make Muhammad obviously look clearly as a fraud and you don't this is why you don't want to read the hadith otherwise Islam without hadith does not exist there's nowhere in the Quran as an example the Quran says you pray only three times you say but you pray five times right but this is not in the Quran this is in the hadith five times I mean huh? the salat is salat tanha and fasiyah right what if there is any verse in the Quran says you pray. If there is any verse in the Quran says you pray five times. Yes. Where? Which verse? This verse. <clears throat> 
Let me let me help you. Let me help you. O open chapter 11. Open chapter 11, verse 114. It says it clearly you pray only three times. Yes, I play <laughs> chapter 8. Chapter 11, verse, verse chapter 11, verse 114. It says establish the prayer, the true end of the day, and the approach of the night, the third time. That's it. Where is the fourth or five time? It is the whole, the whole day. What the whole day? No, the two end of the day in the morning and and uh, and uh, and uh, at, at, at the end of the day, you know, and the approach of the night, you know. So that's it. Three times. Yes. Okay, three times. The Quran says you pray three times, but you pray five times. No, I didn't pray five times. Oh, you pray only three times? Oh, wait. What the verse? What the verse? <laughs> Okay, no, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, you, you know, maybe, maybe you know, you can call me maybe tomorrow or the day after, and me, I want you to prepare yourself more, and I want you to get ready. Like maybe you can give me something really strong about the Quran, because until now, you know. By the way, you won. You know, you won that this debate. So seventy percent, you won. But I want you to call me again. Okay. Yeah, seventy percent, you won. I can, I think it's seventy-five. But I want you to call me again, maybe okay. tomorrow or the day after when we are online. But and I want you to bring me something really strong. But there's no Christian can refute about about Allah in the Quran. What do you think? Something really, yeah, something really okay. powerful. Okay, so I want you to get ready. And this time, next time you call me, I want you to win like eighty-five percent, not only seventy or seventy-five. So I want you to be stronger. So prepare yourself. Get get things for me with evidence, and uh, like uh, uh, studying them carefully and call me. What do you think? Okay, I'll take it. All right. Okay, thank you, my friend, for calling. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. By the way, assalamu alaikum is not a Muslim greeting. This is something Muhammad, he took from the Jews. When the angel, they came to Mary, they said to her, Shalom to you, Mary, right? When the angel came to Muhammad, did not say to him, Shalom. This is something Muhammad, later he started saying, assalamu alaikum. The angel Jibreel, according to a Muslim story, never, according to the Quran, never say assalamu alaikum to Muhammad. And this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Otherwise, why when the angel came to Mary, he said to her, peace to you, shalom to you, salamu alaikum Mary. Why he did not say salamu alaikum Muhammad? Why? Right? Yeah. You know, I feel sorry for them. They don't know the language. And they, and they made them read Arabic letters, by the, I mean, Quran, but they don't know, but they don't know Arabic. I mean, do you see how, how much, I feel sorry for those Indonesian people. This is the most stupid cult ever. And you notice that the number of those who don't want to believe in the Hadith is growing. Millions and millions. Why? Because the Hadith obviously proved to them that Muhammad is a fraud. So what they do? They say the Hadith, it's so clear. We can't play with it. So let us play with the Quran. Let us say we believe only in the Quran. Leave the Hadith alone. Hadith is obviously will make Muhammad like a poo-poo. So what we would do? We will not accept the hadith anymore. This is a very good sign. The first step of leaving Islam is refusing the hadith. Because the hadith is ugly, showing us how ugly Muhammad is. So what we do, we say we don't accept hadith. All right. I was mad at you when I said assalamu alaikum. No, I, no, I wasn't mad at you, but because you know, a Muslim, he's, he's not allowed to say to me assalamu alaikum. So I was a question how much you know? Because you see, this is another proof that this guy, he doesn't know Islam because a Muslim should, should not say assalamu alaikum to the Muslim. It's haram. Right? <clears throat> All right. Uh, for those who they speak Indonesian, feel free to download the video, add subtitle, translate please. Actually, there's one of you, he, he made a translation for a video, and I will post it in my Patreon later. Um, for those who like to watch, I think he is the only one who translated this video, which is, will be interesting for the rest to have it. Uh,
always, always, I, I really feel sorry for, for the Muslims, even those who attack me, make videos. And by the way, uh, you know, even when Muslims, they make videos against me, they think they are, uh, they are doing support, you know. Everything we show, it's in the front of you. And then, like, as an example here, like we said, uh, uh, it says a three time. Then a Muslim, he will try saying, oh, I will show you the different verse. First of all, you cannot say different verse. Because if different verse saying different, that means contradiction. Either three or five. Allah said three. Why you want to make it five? That's stupid. The hadith says it clearly that when Muhammad, he went to heaven, Allah gave him 50. And then Musa, Moshe, the Jew, Prophet Moshe, he is the one who told Muhammad to go and ask for a discount from Allah. And then Allah, he made it 40, the 40 became 35, the 35 became 30, etc. Until final decision of Allah to make it, to make it five for him. And this is how stupid it is. So in order to answer uh, the Muslim now, what they will do? They will say, if we go to the from verse, we will find its mission, but it's the same, the same. What the from verse? That the single place in the Quran it says five times. Can't Allah says five times? Can he can, right? Nowhere. No. Two end of the day and the approach of the night. If there is a verse in the Quran, you can find. Does not agree with this verse? It means the Quran is false. And if you want to say to me, Allah, he changed his mind about how many times to pray, that is even more stupid. But in Islam, stupidity is always exist. As an example, if you remember the hadith, which is about uh, uh, 10 times breastfeeding for adult. 10 times breastfeeding for adult. Okay. The hadith confirm that the, the, the goat ate it, right? The goat ate the, the, the hadith, uh, the Quran. And at the end of the hadith, it says that this verse of 10 times breastfeeding for adult abrogated to five times. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this? Why Allah, he said 10 times and then he make it five? What a different. Allah, he found it like too much, Sakarin. Of a man suckling the nipples of a woman. What is what? What is the difference between five time and ten time? What about six time? Stupid. It is literally stupidity. This this guy Muhammad obviously he have a mental issue, and he keep changing his mind. Otherwise, you, I challenge anyone to tell me what the difference between ten time and five time. And how it was ten time and now it's five time. What happened? How it was 10 times required for a woman to see an adult man to, to suckle him first. I mean, you cannot see him, but you can suckle him. And after you suckle him, you can see him. But how he can suckle you without seeing him? I mean, this is the most stupid garbage religion ever. So, sorry, I cannot see you. I'm very conservative, but you can suckle my nipples. So she cannot see him, but he can suckle her nipples. I mean, do you see how conservative this garbage is? <laughs> right? <clears throat> we have a caller, maybe have a comment about this. Let us see. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on here. What do you want to say to us? Uh, this is Christian Prince. Yes, it's me. Uh, uh, I just want to... Oh, sorry. My name is Risky. Okay, Risky. How I can help you, my friend. You are a Muslim, right? My name is Risky. Uh, I'm from Indonesia. I am Sunni Muslim. Okay. So what would, would you like to share with us? Go ahead. Uh, you said before about... Muslim killing people and then rape a woman or kill a woman, but it's also mentioned in the Bible, I think. Hmm. In the book of, wait, I search for you, in the book of Number hmm. 31, hmm. verse, wait, hmm. verse 4. 
number 17. Hmm. So, the both books uh, mention the same thing. Hmm. So, what's your problem with uh, Quran mention about killing people? And but the Bible also mention killing all the men and all the women hmm. in the well, book of Numbers 13. Okay, let me answer you. So, you know, the Bible is uh, everybody knows, uh, even if you go in the Quran, chapter 2, verse 178. You will see that Muhammad trying to copy the law of Moses, which is the law of Moses, eye for an eye, correct? Chapter 2, verse? Two, chapter 2, verse 178. So, the Moses, he practiced eye for an eye, which means the same way you attack us, the same way we attack you, the same way you kill us, the same way we kill you, the same way you take us as a slave, the same way we take you as a slave. So, the Jews, they've been killed, they've been tortured, they've been enslaved, they've been raped, and uh, 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 Moses, he practiced eye for an eye. You kill us, you kill our women, you kill our children, we will attack you, we will fight you back. Now, Muhammad, he copied the same law. But Muhammad, because he's a false prophet, he, he practiced wrong. Look what it says in the verse. It says, oh, who you believe. In the case of retaliation, is it prescribed for you in the matter of murder? The free man for the free man, the slave man for the slave man, the female for the female. So, Moses, Moses he told his followers, in the case of war, go and do etc the same as they did to us but they are not killing female for the female this is in the case of murder muhammad he is an idiot he got it wrong you see it's a war they attack us when they attack us they kill us they take slaves they take our women they kill our children etc even they take our animals but here muhammad is practicing this is in the case of murder which mean even in a civilian cases which mean not in wartime so you are an Indonesian man and you own a slave and I am an Arab man and I own a slave. So both of us, we are Muslims and we are free. If I kill your slave, you kill my slave. But now we have to have two victims. So how in the world this can be from God? How if I kill your wife, you kill my wife. But my wife, she is, she is, she is not the criminal who killed your wife. You know what I mean? If I kill your wife, and, you, and then you go and kill my wife, but my wife is not the one who killed your wife. So why you want to kill my wife? This is the law of Muhammad. But, but in the Bible also mentioned that eye for eye and teeth for teeth. Am I, yeah, but in the law of Moses, you don't do that. You don't go home and you kill the one who killed. You don't kill his wife. <laughs> you take the teeth of the guy who, who took your teeth, not the teeth of his wife. <laughs> this is what Muhammad doing. I take your teeth, you take the teeth of my slave. I take your, the teeth of your wife, you take the teeth of my wife. But I am the one who took the teeth of your wife. Why are you taking the tooth of my wife? That is so stupid. So you say this, that Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, uh, making things up. Yeah, he, he, you know, obviously he is a, he's, he's not a smart. He heard that this is the law of Moses, eye for an eye. And he said, okay, let us practice an eye for an eye. So male for the male, free for the free, slave for the slave, female for the female. So what happened now? If you are a free man, you kill a slave. The slave, you, the slave of the free man, we will kill him. So now we have two slaves get killed. And the one who killed the slaves is a free singing, going to the nightclub. And if a female, if I kill a female, you will kill my female. But this is stupid. You know, because now we have two, we have two victims. So what kind of God? And, and later the Muslim, they will say to you, this verse is abrogated, correct? They say it's abrogated. No. Okay, why Allah, why Allah he abrogate this verse? I mean, what kind of God he make a law for the case of murder? And then he changed his mind. Obviously, he found that this is stupid. People just no. start laughing at him. Allah never abrogate his verse. Huh? Allah never abrogate his verse. I don't understand. Say again. Allah never abrogate anything. Well, this is the, the, the Muslim. They agree. All the Muslims agree that this verse is abrogated, my friend. All Muslims agree that this verse, I don't need to show you, you can go and check. I mean, what you think I am, you you know, you are a Muslim, you are calling me and you do not know that this verse abrogated. Anyone, go go search in your language, search chapter 2, verse 178, is it abrogated? You will see the answer, yes. Okay, wait, wait. Hmm. open Google. <clears throat> what tafsir do you use? Use, use, use anyone you want. It doesn't matter really. I don't care. Yeah, 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 you're right. Mm. 
Hmm. So why Allah abrogated it? I mean, does it make sense to you? Allah, he made a law for murder. And how that can change? I mean, this is the law of God. That's it. Why he want to change it after a... After, after, but in the Bible also, the law is changed. No, 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 no. Uh, you, no, in the, the law doesn't change. You see, uh, the law of Moses still and now exists, never changed. That's number one. Number two, we are talking about the same prophet in the same time, in the same year, in the same, even sometime a few days after. He says something, and then he says something else. To the point, even the Arab, they say, this guy, he says something in the morning, and at night, he, you know, by afternoon, he says something. In the second day, he said the opposite. This is why the Quran says uh, that at, uh, uh, if we cause any verse to be forgotten or, uh, or, or abrogated, we will make something similar or better. What kind of God would do that? So here we go. He made a verse about the case of murder. And this is a case of murder which should be the same for all mankind forever. And we are talking about a guy exists in the time of Muhammad, not, not uh, I mean, Muhammad himself. This is during life of time. Muhammad, he was a prophet uh, almost for 20 years only. So how Allah changed his mind in, in a few years? If this is the best for the case of murder, that's the best of the case for the murder. So why he changed his solution so fast? Because simply Muhammad, he say things, stupid things, and then he find it is stupid. People start complaining. What do you mean, oh, a female from a female? So I killed his wife, he killed my wife. What kind of law this law is? This is a crazy. The Bible also is uh, the law is changed. For example, in the Old Testament, we cannot we cannot eat pork, but in the New Testament, Jesus said we can. We can no, eat no, pork. no, 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 no. There's there's nothing change. What the change is that people they have there is a reasoning. As an example, in the time of in time of Moses, there is there is reasoning. In the time in our time, there is different reason. So in the time of Moses, the the the, the pigs they are grown in the field, and the pigs they eat anything. They eat even dead animal. They the human. So war people, there is there is a, there is a, a pirate in the street. There is a, a gang. There is war between the Roman and the Persian. And those those pigs, they eat anything in the in the in the floor. And even in the time of of, of Christ, people before they used the Roman, they used to crucify people and throw them in the in the, like in in the in, in like the garbage. It's called Jahannam. That place is called Jahannam. This is where Muhammad he got his Jahannam from. So uh, they throw their things there, and pigs they eat anything there garbage human flesh anything so for the protection of people god he for, for you know he ordered them not to eat from certain animals but if those animals are not risk god don't care really if you eat pigs or not i mean do you think god really care if you eat pig he, cre he is the one who created the pig <laughs> so that will not change anything for god this is you see all this name it says you cannot eat no it says you cannot oh, eat and i told you the reason and Jesus make it clear. You see, Jesus, he says, example, in the Old Testament, it says that you don't break the Sabbath, right? In the Old Testament. Yeah. Okay. So you don't break the Sabbath. And it's an order not to break the Sabbath. But Jesus made it clear to the Jews that this is, was made for the benefit of the man. So Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So what the Jews, they start doing, they start making Sabbath more important than the man. So if anyone break the Sabbath, even if he is sick, even if somebody is hurting, even if something necessarily, they kill him because he broke the Sabbath. But this is not what God, he wanted them to do because God, he made the Sabbath to help the man, not the opposite. So the Jews, they have wrong practice of the Sabbath, but Sabbath did not change. It's still the same. And here, you know, you see, uh, as long God, he gave uh, Moses the Sabbath, why the Muslim don't follow the Sabbath? The Quran says, uh, Allah, he made the Jews monkeys for breaking Sabbath. So why you Muslim don't follow yeah, Sabbath? And and can you explain to me? Can you explain to me what is the reason? I mean, we are going around talking about pigs and etc. And Jesus make it clear. It's not what go inside your mouth will make it dirty. It what come from your mouth. And this is very logical. So the Old Testament written for a reason. And those books written thousands of years before Muhammad is exist. And they exist for a reason, for, for a health issue. For protection of the man otherwise god don't care really if you eat a, a, a donkey or you eat a horse or you eat a chicken that will not affect god will affect you so everything there is for the benefit of the man including sabbath the jews they were greedy they like to make money so they never stop working and their servant they, they, they forced them to work seven days a week so he forced the seven the sabbath on them for the benefit of the man so they stop doing this Otherwise, God do not need anything from you. Do you think God he needs Sabbath from me? What Sabbath? You know, uh, what? 
What is this? They do not need it. And Jesus made it clear that Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. Muhammad, he heard, he learned from the Christian, he learned from the Jews, but everything he learned, obviously, is wrong. He don't even know that the Trinity of the Christian. He thinks the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah. <laughs> he do not know the eye for an eye, as he showed you. He thinks that eye for an eye, I kill your wife, you kill my wife. That is the most stupid teaching okay. ever. Okay, talking about Sabbath day, uh, I have a question about that. Hmm. I have uh, Christian friends. Hmm. He pray on Sunday. He go to church on Sunday. Hmm. Uh, he, uh, anything, he, anything he worship is on Sunday. Uh, but in the Bible said it's uh, Sabbath is Saturday. No, Sabbath in the in the Bible is any day you designate to God. So Sabbath Sabbath simply is the, is a is a rest day. You take it to worship God to designate. So in the Bible you will see as an example the Passover. Saturday, yeah. No, no, no. Sabbath Sabbath is Saturday can be and it can be any day is you designate to God. So any day now let us say tomorrow is uh, Sunday. I can make my Sunday Sabbath. How? I designate this day for God. This is Sabbath. Let us say we have Passover and Passover is going to be Monday. That is going to be Sabbath. Let us say I have Easter and Easter is going to be etc. day. That day is Sabbath. Any day is designated for God is Sabbath, my friend. And you can search that in Google. You will find this is what the Christian believe. And this is what the Jews believe, not only the Christians. So Sabbath is any holy day for God. We call it holy day because it is holy. It's not about taking a vacation. It's holy for God. So any day it is designated to be a day for God is Sabbath. So we Christians, not only Saturday is holy for us, Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Thursday for God is always in our heart and we pray to him anytime. Every day for us is Sabbath. Any day you designate for God is Sabbath. And any moment you decide for God, you can pray to him as you wish. That's why Jesus says, you know, when you pray, go to your closet and, and pray to your, to your father. So not like the Muslims, they have to go in a certain time, which is very silly as if God is waiting in train station and he will not be there in the rest of the day. So for us, Sabbath is any time, any day we designate to God. This is why when, so when a Christ, my friend, I will, I will give you, I will give you, I will give you an example. When, when a Christ was uh, uh, crucified, you know, it says there that they have to bury him because the second day is Sabbath. But it was not Saturday. But it says in the Bible, Sabbath. But uh, Sabbath is not Saturday in the story. Sabbath is the day because they have holiday. They have an occasion, religious occasion for the Jews. And because it is, that is Sabbath for the Jews. So they have to take the Messiah to his tomb before the Sabbath start. But it was not Saturday. All right. So why Advent, Advent still pray on Saturday? Who? Advent Christian. Advent Christian. Well, it doesn't matter. I can pray on Saturday. I can pray on Saturday. I told you, you see, you are not listening. I told you, Jesus said clearly that Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So any day we designate for God is Sabbath. The important is that you have a Sabbath in your life. So it can be Saturday. It can be any other day. And it still is Saturday, nothing changed. Actually, who told you we don't pray on Saturday? We pray on Saturday, we pray on Sunday, we pray every day. That's not changing. No, in, in, Advent, in Advent Christian is different. I don't care about it. Don't, don't, don't give me names. No, no, don't give me names. There's many Christians in the Sabbath as an order for they are greedy. They like to make money. They work to work seven, seven days a week. But that was not the purpose. Otherwise, God, you don't care if you pray to him on Saturday or you pray to him on Sunday or you pray to him in one day. It doesn't matter what day. Any day you designate for him is his Sabbath. And the Bible is full of stories like this. And the Jews themselves, they practice Sabbath as we say it. Any holiday is Sabbath, but you are not listening. So a Christian can pray, can he make his prayer in Sunday? For this that day he decided to be his Sabbath. He can make it Saturday, that day is his Sabbath. He can make it Friday, for his day is Sabbath. So any day I decide this week to be my Sabbath is my Sabbath. Oh. Okay, okay. I understand. So, uh, I have uh, another question about uh, Isaiah 42. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> Wait, eyes open. Isaiah 42. Hmm. There is a word Kedar there. Word, word what? 
Killer, killer. Killer, okay, what killer? Killer, killer, killer. Kidar, you mean? Yeah, in, in Arab. Okay, what about it? All uh, mentioned in the Bible, Isaiah 42. Hmm. He mentioned the word of Kedar, but Kedar is in Arab. Hmm. He will raise. Uh, he will raise a prophet hmm. in Kedar. Hmm. So why you believe that uh, it's mentioned about Jesus? It's talking about Jesus. Hmm. But Kedar is not in hmm. Israel, I think. Hmm. Okay. Well, for, first, first of all. Uh, can we find this Isaiah prophet in your Quran? Do you have his book in the Quran? No, there is no Isaiah. Okay, why this prophecy is not in the Quran from the book of Isaiah? Why why Muhammad he did not have it? Allah did not tell him that in Isaiah 42 there's a prophecy about you and he did not quote it. Why is it in the Quran? Because the Quran mentioned about we have to believe also in the Torah. No, so. no, 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 but you but but you don't have the Torah. Do you have the Torah? You don't. How you can believe in the Torah if you don't have it? You, you have it, so we, we read it also. No, but, but you say it's, it's about, no, you, you, but you say it's corrupt. No, you don't have it. You don't say you don't have it because you don't agree with it. So either you agree with it or you don't agree. And this is hypocrisy, my friend. Secondly, if you read the verses, chapter 42, you will see that this person who is going to be a prophet, first, he's a prophet. Your prophet is not a prophet. He's a false prophet. He made tons of prophecies. None of them come true. Number two, it says that this person, uh, God, He gave His spirit on Him, but your 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 Muslim don't believe that God have a spirit. He is not a spirit. Your God, Allah, is not a spirit. So obviously, here the nature of this Allah God. Great spirit. No, Allah is not a spirit. Yeah, but Allah created great spirit. Yeah, but here it says that God, He put His spirit on Him. So the God of the Christian, He have a spirit. In 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 the first book of Genesis, it says it clearly that God's spirit was above above the water. God's spirit. So our God is a spirit, your God is not. So obviously here this God is not your God. So why you are saying Isaiah is about your prophet? Secondly, it says he will come to, to perform justice between mankind. Your prophet never performed justice. As an example, your prophet said that in judgment day, Allah will put all the sin, the Muslim they commit, even if it's high as mountains, in the top of the Christian and the Jews. Is that justice? No, it's not justice. Uh, uh, num uh, verse number two, it says he will never raise his, his face and he will not scream in the street. Muhammad, he was a criminal. He not only he do that, he go in the street, he kill people. He, and it says, and he will not even break a piece of wood. Does it say that? You're a prophet. He cut. But when it says in Hold on. Isaiah 42, it says in Kedar. No, no, it says, Kedar okay, so okay, so you stuck with Kedar. We will go to Kedar now. <laughs> Just don't worry. So it says he will not even break a piece of wood. Did your prophet break necks? This person is so peaceful to the point he will not break a piece of wood. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously it's not about your private. Secondly, Kedar, you can search now in Google and you will find Kedar is not Saudi Arabia. You know, the, Kedar is in Arab. No, it's not. It's not. You see, it's first a word, a word Arab, my friend, is a Kedar is an Arab. Medina. <laughs> first of all, your prophet is not from Medina. Your prophet is from Mecca. Secondly, Medina is a city of the Jews. And Muhammad is not a Jew. He took their city. He's, he, he occupied. He's not coming from there. Number three, this is Kedar is not in Medina, have nothing to do with Medina. Number four, all the prophecies there have nothing to do with him, as you see. Right? So, uh, uh, you Muslims, because you are desperate trying to find the prophet in our book, because you cannot find the prophet. Okay, just to give you an example, can you show me one prophecy in the Quran Muhammad he said come to be true? I think it's about uh, chapter 16, 78, about honey. This is prophecy now? Yeah. What What is prophecy? Because, at that, is no, what? because at that time, there is no one knows that honey can heal. Ah, well, this is mentioned in the Bible. There's many verses in the Bible speak about honey you can heal. And not only in the Bible, my friend. Even there's other religion, Hindus, they have this. Uh, uh, Chinese, they have this. Everybody knows in the world it's not a, it's not a genius. I mean to know if, and, and the Bible mentioned which is written long before Muhammad that honey is a is a medicine. This is a prophecy. You are, this is funny. However, as long as you mention this chapter, my friend, this chapter I find it very funny and very crazy, because at the same chapter it says that the bees they eat from the uh, eat from the fruit and they shed honey. 
the visit fruit. Yeah, this is what the verse saying. You see, you are the one who. Yeah, but the, uh, the visit fruit. So. Huh? No, no, the, the bees don't the eat bees. fruit. No, no, they don't eat fruit. No, they don't. The bees, they go and they collect the juice, the nectar, and they go back to the hive. And then there is worker uh, 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 bees who they take it from the uh, from the other uh, collector. And then they, uh, they like, uh, uh, they dry it or let's say they, they, try, they change the, uh, they process it. And that nectar became honey. And the Quran says uh, that this honey which is the, uh, the, the, the bees produce is the, is the poo, poo of the, it's come from their belly. So they eat fruit. Yeah, it's come from their belly. Yeah, so they eat a fruit. What they eat? They eat a fruit, right? And then honey comes from their belly, which means this is their shit. <laughs> what kind of God do you think that those bees, they eat honey and they shit, uh, they, eat, they eat fruit and they shit honey? Excuse my language for using that word shit, but this is what it says. How this is, can be a prophecy? This is stupid. Then the Quran says, Allah, he inspired the, the, uh, the bees saying, choose the habitation in the hills and the trees in which they, uh, uh, th like they do that. And then eat of all the fruits and follow the way. And from their, from their stomach, out of, of their bodies come a drink, drives of horse, etc with many colors so the muhammad is saying that honey is made this way those bees they are stupid animals allah created them for us so as uh, to, to to make honey how they do it they eat a fruit they shit honey i opened google and google said that uh, it's true that uh bees eat fruit and then he uh, and then the honey come from there really so the quran is no that's not true. What, what, what Google? This is a Quran. What Google? There's nobody believed, or everybody knows that honey is not the shit of the. Of, they don't. It doesn't come. It's not the shit, but okay. Honey so, comes. From but it the says no. It says it clearly in the front of you that they eat fruits. Bees don't eat fruits. They don't. They collect nectar, my friend, and they don't eat there. They don't eat out. Their food is in the hive. In the Quran, it says they eat and they come back. And then in the in the in the in the hives they do their poo poo. So where they eat, they eat the fruit. Where is the fruit located? Is it the tree? And then they come back, and the, from their belly come a drink, which is called honey. This is not a prophecy. This is stupidity. And if you go, if you go a verse before it here, verse number sixty-seven. As long as you mention this, you will notice here Muhammad praising whiskey. Do you like do you like whiskey? Yeah. Do you like do you like black label? But but now whiskey is haram. No no. How Allah He prays whiskey here and now it's haram. Explain to me. Why here it says it's, it's also, he is saying it's, it's also like in the before it pork is haram now it's pork pork is uh, no my friend uh, it's no, okay. This no problem. Why it's haram now? Why Allah praising the the the, uh, the the drink the alcohol now and later He make it haram? Doesn't make sense. Either it is bad and always bad. Or it's not bad. Why he's saying it's a sign from Allah and to make good money from it and to make good of it. How it can be good and later became from the devil. So either it's from Allah or from the devil. Here it's from Allah and the other verse is from the devil. Which one? He's not only saying to you drinking it is good. He's saying making money from it is good. So what happened? How this is was uh, uh, now was good, great to do? practice and later became bad Muhammad he got sick the woman she gave him poison he cannot drink anything he keep throwing and vomiting and he cannot drink and the Muslims are drinking so he decided to make it forbidden because now he's not drinking no more he cannot drink okay okay let's go back to the Bible let's go back to the Bible what do you want to talk about the Bible uh, you want to talk about the Bible uh, you want to talk about the Bible okay. of Allah Hmm. Why, uh, why your God hmm. uh, told people to kill each other? I, I, I told you, and you know, your God He told people to kill children. Well, and it's also mentioned in the Bible to kill children in okay. the Book of Numbers. And, you're, you're, and you, so you see, you are, you are not listening. I, I answer you this about this from the beginning. 
there's a there's a person who was praying to God saying God smashed their heads right and then the verse after it says the same as they did to us the same as they did to us what does that mean that's mean this is what they did to their babies so you are not listening and you will not listen and we will repeat the same question with the same answer because you are not listening Okay, okay, last question, last question. I mean, hmm. what is the last question? Uh, first John 5 for 7. First John? First John 5 for 7. Hmm. What about it? <clears throat> uh, uh, many times I also watch uh, Zakir and I video about hmm. this verse. And, uh, this verse, uh, he said that. This verse uh, is 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 it's gone because in Revised Standard Version of Bible there is no first first John five verse seven. Well, if, if it's not there, that's mean the translation is bad. I can show you many Islamic translation for the Quran and many verses disappear. Man, for example, any you know there is many. Go right now, you will see in the news about many the distributed Quran, whereas many verses are taken off or added. You can go search right now in Google. So any translation doesn't fit with the original. We don't accept it. It's translation. So you said, uh, so you said the revised standard version is wrong. My friend, any no, anyone he gave a translation doesn't. It's not accurate. We refuse it. As simple as that. And this is why this international version we don't. I don't accept it because there's a lot of garbage there. It's a translation. So you said the revised. So you said uh, the one who. Like a Jehovah, the Jehovah Witnesses, he, uh, he said, uh, in the beginning was word, and the word was God, and the word was a God. So, so you you also reject the uh, the verse. What do you mean reject the verse? What does that mean? Like, uh, uh like First John, uh, John chapter one. Uh, who said who said who said who said I reject any verse in the in the Bible? I never said that. You 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 heard me saying I reject a verse in the you, Bible. You make a video when you go around and then you saw you saw uh, Jehovah Witnesses and then you yeah, but those, with him. Uh, you see, about you see. Okay, here you see that we are Christian. We are very serious about our Bible. Just because they change, they add an A before God. That is a big deal for us. A just add an A. In the translation so they make it instead of uh, he uh, is God became a God which means they believe in many gods so we believe in one God so uh, if this is Jehovah Witnesses they are not Christians they have false translation of the Bible the same as Muhammad he is a fraud so Jehovah Witnesses is made by a fraud and we expose the fraud so if you bring me right now a translation of the Bible adding words or taking words off you are a fraud as simple as that Okay, so uh, convince me that the that the Christian is uh, the truth. Why I want to convince you? I don't. I do not need to convince you. You know, stay stay as a Muslim. There is a lot of uh, you know. Why you want to be a Christian anyway? The, uh, you, you have a prophet. He will give you. In the, my life. Hold on, my friend. No, my friend. I don't want you to be a Christian. I want you to be a Muslim. I want you to be a Muslim. So does God, Allah? He will give you women with big boobs. Don't you like big boobs? Yeah, I already uh, uh, read about the hadith. No, not hadith. This uh, is Quran. This is Quran. This is this is not hadith. The Quran yeah, says. Also, okay. I'm, I'm so, so, so uh, uh, you, you, you see, you are calling me. Says Islam and Islam and Islam and Islam is a so stupid religion. So, if you are taking your idea about Christianity from a guy like Muhammad who, who promised you big boobs, obviously, you know you are crazy because in order to listen to somebody, he have to prove that he is not mentally ill. A person who promised me big boobs, he cannot be healthy. He can't be, have a brain. He's obviously sick. So if you you are trying to understand the Christianity from Zakir Naik, trying to understand Christianity from the Quran, trying to attack Christianity based in Islam, and, Islam, and the founder of Islam himself is mentally ill. So for me, in order to start to tell you about Christianity, you have to help me. How you help me? Agree with me that Muhammad is mentally ill, and then we go there. Then we go and say, okay, let's teach about Christianity and see what Christianity teach. But before that, I'm wasting my time. So do you believe, do you agree with me that Muhammad is mentally ill? 
the guy who take a dead shower, a shower with dead dogs and warm the blood from period? Don't you think if you go in the street right now and you see a guy sitting in the mud in the middle of the mud, little tiny hole in the ground, and there's dead dogs with blood from period and garbage in the water, and he's taking a shower, don't you think he is obviously mentally ill? Be honest with me. Yeah, maybe at that time, no, I cannot. What do you mean, no? People at that time, they were wondering what he's doing. You see, people who they are at the time, they were asking him, what are you doing? They were not saying, okay, yeah. You know, when, when you ask somebody, are you taking a shower in such a water? Obviously, this is not what they do at that time. Otherwise, nobody would be so surprised. Right? If I ask you, are you doing this read with me? Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay. So are you doing this? Why they are saying, are you doing this? Because simply this is something stupid. Nobody do. <laughs> Garbage, women, blood from period. So you are coming from a background where you have a prophet or you call him a prophet. He's mentally ill, obviously. He's not a stable. There is no way in the world that this man is, he have little brain even. His brain is focusing in stupidity. In sex, vagina, penis, and money. In the same time, he do things obviously proving that he is a fraud. The caller is a fake Muslim. Uh, the somebody saying you are a fake Muslim. Are you a fake Muslim? No, 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 no. I'm Sunni Muslim. You are a Sunni Muslim. He's saying, uh, can you take shahada? Yeah, la ilaha illallah, Rasulullah. La ilaha, no, no, no. Say it slowly. What to say? What I did not hear. La ilaha what? Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, so now the the one who is listening there, are you are you happy? They are saying you are a fake Muslim. Are you a fake Muslim? No, no, no. Let's talk about Christianity. Hmm. No, why you want to talk about uh, Christianity? No, either you say you because, say, uh, no. Don't waste my time. Uh, until, don't waste until now, cannot uh, until now cannot uh, understand uh, your. You said uh, my friend my friend you see my topic is Islam I'm not going to waste my time with you unless first you agree that Muhammad is mentally ill and he is a fraud and you leave Islam and then I will be happy to explain to you Christianity before that I'm wasting my time before I install a new software in a computer I have to get rid of the virus otherwise installing a new software and the virus is still there there's no point It's hard to say, bro. Uh, the punishment for leaving Islam is die. So the punishment for leaving Islam is a die. Okay, stay as a Muslim. You will get big boobs, and Allah, Allah will make your penis long. What do you want more? Actually, maybe if my have, hurt, ma I maybe have. maybe if you have a like, you, Allah will give you that long penis. You know, like now in the case of Corona, you do not need to go shopping. Your penis can go by itself. Go to the supermarket can bring you the milk you can suck it you know you can get the milk you can get the, the rice you can get all the food you want without going shopping i mean you have a great prophet i mean if muhammad is not a great prophet how in the world he promise you women each time you sleep with them allah will fix their vagina and he will make them virgin again obviously he's a great prophet no stay as a muslim my friend stay as a muslim and they know i'm happy for you and just go on like in a dream you just open your mouth and close your eyes and dream about the you know those women with big ass coming to you one mile as each one of them amazing beautiful okay we'll call you later i will learn learn more about this i'll call you later no problem no problem thank you very much for calling okay, okay, okay. Let me ask you about the Bible. You answer him, and then I can give you a second question. Let me ask you about the Bible, and then you got, and then let me ask you in the Bible. Did I want to talk about the religion? The second you start saying what their prophets say to them, they, they 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 get ashamed. This is your prophet. I mean, how in the world this can be a prophet of God? Look at this. The guy is jumping literally in the garbage, literally. Women of blood from period. Even a monkey would not do that. 
even a monkey will not do that so you better follow a monkey better than following Muhammad at least a monkey he can bring promise you some banana you know real banana the banana of your prophet is false does not exist when I will you will pay me in heaven okay what will get in heaven milk and wine river of wine why you need river of wine what is this how how wine is from the devil and you promised me a river of wine mentally ill how women they are evil Muhammad he said if no Eve there is no woman betray her husband which means Muhammad he you know he, he blame women for what happened to Adam like we did not play his video for a long time but anyway he say in your Bible the Bible blame Eve for for the sin of Adam that's not true the Bible blamed both of them for sin and that's why both of them they were kicked but in the uh, Muhammad himself made it clear that Adam is a victim of Eve and not only that if not Eve no woman betray her husband which means all women are excuse my language bad women I don't want to use the word you know what I'm going to say all women are the same for Muhammad and the first bad women is Eve and the rest of them they are following their mother Eve and Muhammad in this hadith this is Sahih Bukhari blaming to the Jews and the women as usual right and the funny the most time they say we reject original sin but you are teaching original sin here but you are not, you know, Christian, they believe original sin is coming from Adam, not from Eve. You Muslim believe original sin is coming from Eve. But if you ask any Muslim, they say, we don't believe in such a thing. It's called original sin. That's not wrong, but not right. Right? Do we have anyone? Uh, I noticed that YouTube, they changed the name of my video. Guys, did you notice that? The name of my video became 303. What is that? <laughs> you believe it? YouTube, they changed the name of my video. The title is 303. What is that? Thank you, YouTube. Thank you very much. What is that? How the name became 303? Yeah, this is Jibreel. No, Jibreel, no. <laughs> yeah, but this is not the name of the video. The name of the video is the name of the song. The name of the video is the same as the name of the song we were talking about that song for Aisha. I will I will I will uh, I will check it out later uh, change it you know but imagine this YouTube crazy stuff you know they, they keep chasing me why I want to make it 303 who is it three like 303 what is that 303 you think this is a uh, James Bond code bravo bravo 303 my position give me your position Alpha, Alpha, Alpha Romeo. What is that? Maybe this is the prophet. He is receiving the sound of the bell again. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet? He received Quran in a sound of a bell. Huh? Why? Why is God going to give him Quran in a sound of a, of a bell? And how the Quran came to him in the sound of a bell and then became Arabic later. This is what he received. And then Muhammad, he make it Arabic Quran. If you receive a sound of a bell, then you have to write. And Zakir Naik, he, you know, recite Quran. He said, 
Hey doctor, who is a specialist, they call them shrink. They will say to you, those people, they hear voices. They hear a sound of a bell in their head. They hear ringing in their ears. This is what Muhammad Kay says. Is it obvious? I cannot call Zach and Nick. Last time I called him, he called the police for me. And the police, you know, they, they, I found that the police guy is his cousin. I was in, almost in trouble. The, the police guy, uh, his, his cousin, he said to me, First of all, I am the cousin of Zach and Nick. And if you call him again, I'm going to arrest you. I said, oh, hold on, hold on. You cannot just arrest me for calling Zach, Zach and Nick just because he's your cousin. He said, first of all, he is my close cousin. And I'm married to his daughter. You are his cousin and you are married to his daughter. How you can do that, man? We are Muslims and we can do that. I never feel that. Hey, by the way, you are in the police department of uh, USA or in... Uh, I am a police in Bangladesh and I'm going to arrest you. But how you can arrest an American citizen in America and you are in Bangladesh? It's really. How you can do that? You are far away, man. You are going to come to America to arrest me? I do not need to go to America. We are the one to control America very soon. And simply, we are the one who would control. How you control America very soon? I'm going to marry from Ivanka Trump. And I'm going to make her my wife. And I will convert all the Americans to Mr. To, to, to what? To Mr. Uh, I don't know. Get that one. The last one. Can you translate? First of all, this is in the language of the, the bill. The language of the bill? May Allah bill you. Hmm. Yeah, this is Zakir Naik, cousin, he's a police in Bangladesh, he's going to arrest 303. <laughs> 303. Oh boy. All right, guys, let us cut this video. And uh, those who want to translate, you can cut the video where we stop talking about the song. So you can make it easier for you to translate to Indonesian. Like you do not need to download the whole video. I mean, download our video, but you can cut it pieces, especially about the song, translate. So in Indonesian, they will see how stupid the song is. And you can cut the rest. And like those who call me, you can pause their video individually. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I will try to come tomorrow if I can. And uh, I pray for everybody to open, uh, you know, people, they open their mind. to, to uh, I, don't, I don't like the word open mind. Don't be open mind. No, open your brain. Use it, you know. Use it. God, he gave you a gift. Our Lord, he gave us a gift. And this gift, if we don't use, somebody else will think for us. And usually that is the devil. Anything people they say to you, including me, don't take it for granted. Study it, search it, check it out. If it's true, it's true. It's not, throw it in the, in the, in the garbage. God is not a pimp. There's no way that God is a pimp. He promised me women and their, their panty is off. That is not God. Cannot be from God. Isn't, isn't it obvious? This is the devil. God is not a person who do prostitution business to teach me so I can go and do muta. Hire a woman for five minutes to have sex with her. That is not from God. It's obvious. God will not teach you to go and beat your wife. For God did not create women to be beaten or beaten by, by anyone. He created the women from the body of the man. She is, she, is, she is you. She is not coming from different even dust or sand. She is from your body, which means all of, both of us, we are one. And the one who want to beat his wife, that's mean he don't respect his mother. And the one who don't respect his mother, Obviously, he have nothing good in him. Because the one you agree with beating wife, that's mean he agreed that your father should beat your, your mother too. And which one of us, he would like to see his father beating his mother? God don't teach you stupid, ugly stuff. God don't promise evil. It is evil to promise me heaven if I kill somebody. What about you promise me heaven if I save somebody? That would be way better. And that is the promise of Christ. 
who order us before we ask for our forgiveness to forgive others first because if you want to receive forgiveness well you have to forgive did you forgive if you forgive I forgive you forgive to others the same we forgive forgive to, our, to, to us the same we forgive to others that was a requirement in the prayer where Jesus taught us how to pray so before we think about ourselves we better start with forgiving others love your enemy pray for them bless them pray for those who curse you that is the teaching of the true God not the one who says any woman any believing woman she want to give her private part for me that's not from God what does this have to do with God what a woman giving herself for a prophet have to do with God he's a prophet okay no problem but why women they need to give themselves as a gift to the prophet he have 13 wives already he have hundreds of slaves to sleep with them and the top of that still he want more obviously he's mentally mentally evil not only ill even Muslim books they say if the prophet eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so the prophet can have her immediately immediately and he did that with his own son how this is can be from God all cult leaders they need two things from you your money and your women all of them you can go right now and search in prophet Google peace upon him you will find that all cult leaders they do the same they fool people to follow them they want from them two things their money to give and their women to sleep with all of them with no exception And this is exactly what Muhammad stands for. Even the heaven which Muhammad he promised to have, or he, he, he claimed that Allah he promised him to have, is about him being given a special rank, rank in sex. Like Muhammad he have the power of 40 men in heaven. Okay. But every man in heaven Muhammad he promised, he, they will have the power of 100 men. All right. That's mean Prophet Muhammad, as they call him, he will have the power of 4,000 men in heaven. I mean, because you are a prophet, Allah will give you a rank of 4,000 penis. Have you ever heard of a prophet like this? Right? Christ founded the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, well, I don't know, Dominique, you are being stupid because the Quran says the opposite. The Quran says the opposite. Even the Quran says the opposite. Secondly, it's very stupid of you to no Catholic. The Catholic later, they became, there some churches became Catholic in the Middle East. There was no Catholic. You are very stupid. And actually, until now, the majority of Arab Christians are Orthodox. Until now. And the top of that Christianity was not located only in one territory. Christianity spread all over for God, our Lord the Messiah. He sent his disciples to speak in many languages, in many locations on the earth, including India, Ethiopia, uh, uh, Egypt. All the, 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 the disciples of Christ, they went to everywhere. And Christianity was exist everywhere, in the same location, I mean, in the same time, in many locations. And each one of them is a different church. Stupid people think that Christianity is located in, a, in Rome. Rome became a Christian long after. You are mentally ill. You are stupid, officially. Long after the Roman became Christian. Christianity was spread, widespread, around the world before the Roman became a Christian and the Bible was exist already in many places in Africa in all the way to India in Persia in Arabia Arabia mean the desert any any desert in that location is called Arabia in Syria the first people who became a Christians actually as the, the, the Syrian in the, the first city it was the city of Antioch the whole city became a Christian and this is mentioned in the Quran, chapter 36. So people who they are stupid, who copy paste because they hate the Catholic and anything they will stick it to the Catholic. 
Um, I will not be surprised if this person come tomorrow says the cat the, the corona made by the Catholic. <laughs> Christianity is made by the Catholic. Even you stupid idiot, your prophet Muhammad, he said that Allah is the one who made the Christianity in the Quran. This is how donkey you are. But anyway, we have no place for donkeys. We open space now for a mule. We have we want bigger donkeys. Hmm? Yeah. And remember, if you are a Christian person who love God, who love the Messiah, Christianity is not Catholic, is not Protestant, is not Orthodox. Christianity is any one of us who follow the Christ, the Messiah. That is a Christianity. You can be Catholic and Christian, you can be Protestant and Christian, and you can be Orthodox and Christian. However, those names are not necessarily. Those are school of thought. Christianity is you believing in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Doesn't matter what church you go to. Believing in the crucifixion of Jesus. Believing that He's coming back. Believing in His resurrection. You be believe in every word the Messiah He said, whoever believe in me and die will live. That what make you Christian. Is not following a bishop. Is not following a pope. Is not following a Christian prince. I am no one. We are sinners. The man who follow a man is a fool. We should not follow any man. Even the Bible says clearly, we have only one master. His name is the Messiah Christ. This is the words in the Bible. One master. We don't have another master. No bishop, no priest, no pope, no Christian prince, no one to follow but the Messiah. And anyone follow someone else, he's no Christian. Right? Uh, <clears throat> division always from from the devil and anyone who promote division he is working for the devil all right why islam forbid the use of a musical instrument well you know uh, islam is a muhammad is a crazy man as we say as an example, Muhammad, he have the girls playing music for him in his house. He's a hypocrite. Hypocrite. And, uh, you know, Muhammad, he learned things from people around him. So if he, he saw somebody practice such a thing, he copied it and he say, he claimed that he is going to follow. Muhammad was a very confused person and he's trying to create a religion. That's why in the beginning he fasted as the Jews. Then he decided to change. In the beginning he was praying to Jerusalem and then he changed because the Jews did not accept him. So in the beginning he was doing his best to be a Jew, literally. When he noticed that the Jews would not accept him anyway, so he switched the mood from a Jew to anti-Jew. Right? Uh, can you talk about Muslim thinking they are no original no original sin day well you know we can prove that Muhammad he believe in the original sin and the same time he don't which means this guy is a stupid if you read his words you will notice that he believe in it but if you read his words again you will see that he don't he's against it so this guy uh, because he's mentally ill he is suffering from flight of thoughts this is why when you read the Quran you will you will not know God you will get confused you see if God he made a book and the book is to guide me so why the book is confusing me the answer is very simple this man who made this book is a crazy so whatever he said doesn't make sense and the result is confusion right anyway I will try to come tomorrow again all right, and I will fix the name of this video. Became 303, 303. I'm not sure what is that. Uh, and uh, uh, if you, if you, uh, if you like me to talk about a topic, maybe you can leave your comment. I will not keep this video for long. Download it, please. Share it with your friends. And for those who speak Indonesian, translate the part we speak about the songs, and you can translate later the the, the conversation with those Indonesian. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope we. Uh, we were able to serve the purpose of what we did today. 
and I hope we will help more Muslims to know the truth and the truth will set them free. The truth is the Messiah. This is his name. Even the God of Islam tried to copy the names of Jesus. So he called himself, he is the resurrector. But Jesus says, I am the resurrection. The Quran says Allah is the truth. But Jesus said 600 years before Allah that he is the truth. Jesus says, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. Muhammad, he copied that and he said his God, Allah is. So all the good names which belong to the true God, the Messiah, Muhammad the thief, he copied them and he attached them to their God. And yet the Muslim, they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Your God is copying the name of Jesus to make you believe that he is God as Jesus is. But no way. God can be examined as same as we examine a man. How? The Messiah said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And the fruit of Allah is ugly as Allah is. And the fruit of the Messiah is shiny, truthful, pure, as the Messiah was and he is. From their fruit, my friend, not from their names. Thank you. May the Lord bless you all. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Take care.